So good evening, everyone. Thank you so very much for coming out this evening to see this amazing presentation. Uh, the speaker tonight has been in the massage therapy business for 32 years. She's a mom, she's a grandmother, she loves Jesus, and she is gonna to touch your life like she has touched ours. So without any further ado, let me introduce you to Miss Joyce Goodman. Thank you, Cherie. And I wanna give it back to Cherie because she's been my mentor for seven years now. And she's taken me under, under her wing and taught me everything that I now know about this amazing business and water technology. So thank you, Cherie. You're welcome. So let's get started here. Kangen Water for Life. Imagine if the cancer rate was 1% like it was in the 1900s. Imagine if babies were not being born toxic. Imagine if the water we drink, cook with, and bathe in was not full of chlorine, fluoride, and other toxic chemicals. Imagine if the supplement you take was 100% bioavailable to your body and eliminated the inflammation. Imagine if changing the water you drink changing the supplement you take, and changing the way you bathe and shower could change your life and the life of your friends and family forever. Imagine if doing those three simple things could also change your finances and the future of your family. And imagine if there was one company that could provide you all three. Now there is. A global movement based on three principles realizing true physical health, realizing true financial health, and realizing true peace of mind. And this is Mr. Oshiro, he's the founder and CEO of Enagic. And he said, with the hard work and determination, the dreams of a young man have come to fruition. And with your help, those dreams are now changing the world. So we're a 49 year old privately held company, original equipment manufacturer, a member of the Better Business Bureau, the Direct Selling Association, the Water Quality Association. We have offices all over the world in 25 countries and 42 locations. We have numerous awards, certifications and documented recognition. And these are some of the um, certificates and recognition that we've gotten. I'm sure you're familiar with some of those, the DSA, the um, NSF, the ISO. Um, but this is the, the document that we're most proud of, and that's the Water Quality Gold Seal Certification. Um, Enagic is the only ionizer manufacturer in the world with this certification, um, and it is so important that they put it on every machine that they make. Um, I have here in this, uh, down in the corner here, this was a, uh, in Market Watch, they did a research about um, top water ionizing companies. And it showed Enagic as the top spot with one billion plus. It showed the second spot is Life Ionizers with five million. So that, that tells you that Enagic is 995 million better than the second ionizing company in line. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So I, um, Enagic is a gold standard in water ionization worldwide. It's used in hundreds, oops. It's used in hundreds of Japanese hospitals in Canada and Germany thousands of restaurants worldwide. It entered the U.S. in 2003 and we've just gotten started. So let's talk about water. Did you know that God created the earth 72% water and he created our body 72% water? So if your body 72% water, what's the condition of your 72%? So you see here the brain is 70% water, the lungs 90, blood 82, the skin is 80% water, the muscles are 75% water, and your bones even are 25% water. So being a massage therapist, 
and knowing that the muscles are 75% water, I can tell when someone comes to me and their body is hydrated or not. So this water has greatly improved the condition of um, a large portion of my clients. So if water is so important, why do we focus on food for health? Um, quality hydration is needed to make your bodily systems work to their peak performance. But unfortunately, the world's water is polluted with pesticides, sewage, and other toxic agents. We do have a water problem. We have air pollution and we have pesticide pollution. And I don't know if you're, you know this or not, but the majority of the city water that's piped into your home is filtered sewage. They send it back through the plant, they filter it, and they, te they treat it with chemicals, and then they send it back into your home again. So that's pretty, pretty go gross to think about drinking sewage water. So this is a documentary um, on YouTube that you can watch. It's called Dark Waters. And in this um, documentary, they talk about some chemicals that were found in some um, streams and lakes in, um, I forget the, the state, but you'll see it on the documentary. I encourage everybody to go and watch this documentary because it's very eye-opening. Um, a, a cattle farmer lost 190 cattle due to chemicals that were put in the water. Hmm. So what were those chemicals that they found in the water? They were called PFASs. And PFAS are a large group of human made chemicals that are fire resistant. They repel oil, stains, grease, and water. They're used in firefighting foams, stain repellents, nonstick cookware, Remember that? Waterproof clothing and shoes, fast food wrappers, personal care products, and many other consumers' goods. It says that these chemicals are very persistent, meaning they do not break down easily in the environment. These chemicals are widely used and they move in groundwater as well as lakes, rivers, and streams. It says groundwater is water that is found underground in the cracks and spaces in soil, sand, and rock. It says most private wells and some public water supplies now. Um, it says here, while health experts have recently raised concerns about exposure to a group of chemicals known as PFASs in tap water, there's now evidence that it may be a concern in bottled water too. Of course, we know that most bo bottled water is strictly filtered tap water, so it would make sense that they're finding it in the bo bottled water now too. So now we're gonna talk about chlorine. Chlorine compounds are now being found in breast tissue. Women with breast cancer have 50 to 60% higher levels of chlorine byproducts than women without. The EPA defined chlorine as a pesticide whose sole purpose is to kill living organisms. And last time I checked, I think we were all living organisms. <laughs> when we consume water containing chlorine, either drinking or bathing, it kills parts of us, destroying cells and tissue inside of our body. A highly respected research doctor whose work is sponsored by the EPA he says that chlorine is the greatest crippler and killer of modern times. And chlorine is everywhere. It's in your tap water, your baths, your hot tubs, pools, exercise facilities, and showers. It's even in our food. I don't know if you know it, but they actually bathe your chicken in chlorine water before they package it. It's so harmful, it says over here, is it harmful to humans? The a Council of Europe rejected the use of chlorine washed chicken, said that it was bioaccumulable or carcinogenic, said that the compounds are hard to get rid of, they build up over time, and they can cause cancer. So I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do a little demo right here with 
some tap water and I'm going to pour this tap water in here. And this is actually um, a solution that tests to see if there's chlorine present in the water. So we're just going to drop a few drops in here. I think I got it in there. And Did I get it in there? There we go. So now if it's chlorine is present, it's going to turn yellow. And you can see that it is. So now, like when we take our produce home, we wash it in the sink with our tap water. And so this is, I'm gonna play like this is our food that we're washing and I'm just gonna pour, pour these onions in this tap water. And we're gonna see what happens. Just gonna give it a little stir cause you're gonna rinse your food for a little bit to get it clean, right? So let's see what happened here. The water is no longer yellow. So what does that tell you? That the chlorine absorbed into your food as opposed to staying in the water. So that means when you're rinsing your food, um, you're actually putting chlorine into your, in the food you eat. So I have a question. Yes. Um, if you were cooking, yes, and you put all your vegetables and then your seasoning, that would be absorbed into your seasoning, right? Correct. Wow. Like making a gumbo. Correct. <laughs> making any kind of stews or... Hmm. Let's put that back. Okay. So let's move on. So it, this is showing that it's a health component for fibromyalgia, psoriasis, eczema, thyroid problems, which you hear nowadays so many people with thyroid issues, acne, hair loss, um, skin cancer. It says, bet you didn't know that 15 minutes of swimming in a pool, sitting in a hot tub, taking a hot bath or a shower, results in an individual absorbing as much chlorine through the skin as drinking almost a quart of chlorinated water. So what's the solution? Introducing the Anespa. It's the only one of its kind in the world. The Anespa removes chlorine from your shower and bath water. It has a dual cartridge system that contains therapeutic ingredients that have a relaxing hot spring effect. It says here, showers and baths will never be the same with the Anespa. So Mr. Oshiro saw a need for, um, you know, we're drinking the good, healthy Kangen water, and he saw a need, if we're gonna put it on the inside of our body, what are we gonna do to protect the outside? So he created this device, um, and he actually purchased these hot springs in Hokkaido, Japan, where he takes the, the mineral stones that come out of um, those hot springs and he puts them into this device. It's, a, um, it, it's actually got two cartridges and it gives you a blend of um, ingredients that makes mineral, and minerals that makes the water slightly al alkaline and very relaxing. So not all water is the same. Anagix Kangen water is electrolyzed reduced water. It's a natural process. It's like lightning striking a body of water. It gives that body of water electrical charge. And if you think about it, our bodies are, a po are positive, positively charged. So why do you think when you go to the beach or you go fishing or something, it, it really feels good and relaxing for you to sit by that body of water. That's because the electrical charge that's on that water is drawing that positive charge in your body. So it's pulling them together. So it's like imagine putting two 
positive magnets together, what happens? They repel, they won't stick. So that's kind of the process that you get and that's what this, this uh, device mimics. So there's similar waters around the world, Germany, France, Mexico, India, where people line up with containers to get their, uh, collect their water, or they go and they bathe in these, um, these hot springs. So Kangen water is not a drug. It's the most natural element you can put in your body. It will bring it into balance so that the body can actually heal itself the way God intended. So electrolyzed reduced water, um, AKA Kangen water, or we call it hydrogen rich water. It's been used in hospitals in Japan for decades. And now you can make the same alkaline antioxidant, mineral rich, pure, safe, and healthy drinking water right in your own home. Studies have shown that participants drinking hydrogen rich water showed a substantial increase in their antioxidant enzymes and a massive decrease in acid in their urine. So it says further participants showed a significant increase in their um, HDL, which is your good cholesterol, and a de decrease in the bad cholesterol. So it says here, change your water, change your life. So it's a certified medical device in Japan, Canada, Germany, and the Philippines. It's used in 300 plus Japanese hospitals and endorsed by over 6,500 doctors. The majority of Japanese citizens have a Kangen water machine in their home. It's like a microwave to them or a flat screen TV. Um, the Japanese live longer and they pre practice preventative health care not sick care like we do here in the US. We go to the doctor when we get sick, they go to the doctor to prevent getting sick. So now you're gonna see um, the worldwide life expectancy chart. And in this chart, you're gonna see up at the top, number one spot is Japan. I wonder if that has anything to do with them having these devices in their homes. But where's the United States? It's down here at the bottom on number 40, which that was 2013, and it's, it's I think, somewhere around number 52 now. Even Cuba, a third world country, has a, a greater life expectancy than we do in the U.S. So a big, big portion of that is medication toxicity. It says here that two-thirds of all prescription drugs in the world, produced in the world, are consumed right here in the US. The US is less than 5% of the world's population. That's crazy. Simple changes in your life will re reduce your need for drugs, but if you don't take care of yourself, your doctor has no choice but to prescribe you drugs. I need a drink of water. So, you ready? There's three unique properties of electrolyzed reduced water, or AKA Kangen water. Antioxidation, alkalinization, and superhydration. The first one is antioxidation. It's the rusting process. Um, you see the chain out there that was sat in the weather, you see how it's all rusted and oxidized. An apple, as soon as you cut it, within just a few minutes, it's already turning brown. And of course, bananas just sitting on the counter start oxidizing right away. So it says living tissue and oxidation equals sickness and aging. Oxidation and inflammation equals aging. So I'm gonna do another little test right now with some iodine. And actually I'm gonna need some more tap water. Sheree, would you fill that up for me, please? Let me get mine. Ready? Okay, so we're gonna take this iodine, which is like an oxidant, and we're gonna put some in this water. And I'm just gonna stir that up a little bit. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna separate it into three parts. Good job. 
good enough. How's that look? Pretty equal. So what do we know? Oh, <laughs> what do we know gets rid of oxidation? Antioxidants, right? So what is vitamin C? Vitamin C is an antioxidant. So we're going to take this vitamin C and we are going to pour some. Is that like that emergency? Yes. Yeah. Emergency is the same thing. Um, this is just the Walgreens brand. And we're going to put some, I'll put it in this one first. That's cool. And so when you add antioxidants to oxidation, what does it do? It neutralizes it. It gets rid of it, right? So what if we took this tap water and added that? It doesn't get rid of the... It just puts more in the cup, but it doesn't get rid of it, right? So if we take this Kangen water and we add that into it, what happens? It removes it. It completely got rid of that oxidation. So what does that tell you? That tells you that this water has so much antioxidants in it, it works the same way that vitamin C does on oxidation. So drinking one cup of this water is like eating fruits and vegetables all day long. You can't get the amount of antioxidants that you get in one cup of this water. So I think that's pretty impressive to know that our water is making that. I mean, it even neutralized it better than the vitamin C. So, I love that demo. Good. So, this is a, an a oxidation reduction potential chart. So if you think about what I said about the body a minute ago and us being a, um, um, a positive charge, well, anytime you put positive to positive together, um, Sheree, would you like to pour the water? Um, you're gonna get, it's gonna repel. So if you think about putting a substance in your body that has a positive charge to it, it's not entering the cells like it needs to. So you need a negative charged substance to actually get into your, the cells of your body and take your nutrients and um, your medicines or whatever you take into, um, into your body. So anything on the positive side is actually gonna be bad for you. Anything on the negative side is gonna be good for you. So we're just gonna put these substances, these waters, into these jars or cups. There's the aqua thing in there. Okay, so if you look on the positive side, what do you see? You see bottled water, um, reverse osmosis and distilled waters, um, sodas, sports drinks, tap water, that's all on the positive side or oxidizing, which is bad for you. If you look on the other side, you're gonna see stuff like vitamin C, green tea, and electrolyzed reduced water, or we say Kangen water. So I'm gonna turn on this meter now, and this is an ORP meter. It registers how much um, negative or positive um, millivolts are in these substances. So let me get this out. Okay. So we're going to start with the tap water. And let's see, April, I'm going to see if we can get it up here. So this is showing 345, let's see, it's going 337, can you see that? Mm -hmm. So it's staying in right about that positive. You notice there's no negative on that. 
So then we're going to go to Ozarka, which is um, people think of the Ozark Mountains when they when they read that, but it actually was bottled in Texas. And look at that; it's got a positive 417. That's crazy. And if you see the chart, it's over there going to 400, so it's even above the chart. So here you have your Aquafina, which is Pepsi's product. And it's 438, 37, 38, positive. Your Dasani, which is Coca-Cola's product, and we like to call it dishonest water because they actually have chem chemicals in the water that um, don't need to be there. When you buy water, you should just be buying water. We've got 419, positive. So now let's go to this um, Gatorade product, Gatorade Zero, and look at this. We've got 448 positive, and that's what they give our kids out on the field, and they think they're hydrating them, and they're actually causing more damage. So here's our Sprite, 481 positive. So you see, every one of those substances is bad for you. It's oxidizing your body. So let's go here to the star of the show. This is our Kangen 9.5 water. And we have, what is that, 832. But if you look to the side there, you see that little minus sign? That is negative. That is a negative charge that's going into your body. 832. It's climbing a little bit, um, and that's negative, guys. That's crazy to know that it's got that much of an electrical charge in it. Ooh. So let's move on. So these are some diseases that are related to oxidative stress. Um, you've got like diabetes, heart disease, cancers, asthma, arthritis. I'm not going to read them all, but you can see on the list that um, I'm sure you've either had some or you know somebody that's had some of these um, diseases. So the second property we're going to talk about is alkalinity. And so if you see on the alkaline chart, everything to the right side is um, alkaline and everything to the left side is acidic. So what is alkaline? Raw alkaline foods, fruits and vegetables, kangen water, even a positive attitude will help to alkalize your body. Sickness, you've got your acidic foods and drinks like these drinks that you saw up here. Emotional and physical stress will cause sickness in your body. And of course, we know that cancer thrives in an acidic environment. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these little pH drops and we are gonna drop these in the water and it's gonna show you on the chart where these substances stand. I love that color. <laughs> so you can see these oranges, very acidic. And then you've got your yellows. And then of course you've got tap water. Now the tap water is, is blue. So a lot of people will say, oh, well that's not too bad. But actually what happens is because the water is so acidic, they have to treat it with lye and chlorine and other chemicals, harmful chemicals, to make it alkaline to go through the pipes underground so that it doesn't rust the pipes. They don't care about the pipes in our bodies, they just care about getting it to our bodies. So that's why you see that blue color. And then, of course, the star of the show is um, Kangen water, and that's, that's the nice purple alkaline color. So 
Um, let me see. When you get your machine and you start drinking the water, people, one question people ask me is, how long does it take for my body to, to start getting alkaline? So let me just show you right here. If you take a little bit of this water and you pour it into these cups, you see that right away, it's turning purple except for these two down here. So the Sprite, we use that because of the clear, so you can see the color. This represents all sodas. It's so acidic that this water won't touch it like it does with these. So let's just say you've been, you've got your machine, you've been drinking your, your water, and your body is now alkaline. And it's your anniversary or your birthday and you wanna go out to eat and you say, I'm just gonna have one soda with my dinner. You know, what's one gonna bother? So we're gonna take, you saw that I diluted this about halfway with pure Kangen water. So what happens if you drink a soda. It even turned pure Kangen water acidic. That's pretty crazy if you ask me that, that it can do that to your body. So it takes about seven gallons, seven to 10 gallons of Kangen water to neutralize one soda, seven to 10 gallons. So that's a lot of, a lot of drinking to, to replace that one soda that you took um, privilege in drinking. Okay, so doctors and authors have written on the importance of pH and health for years. Um, these are some books that have been written. Um, I like to reference the one in the middle on the bottom. It says alkalize or die. It doesn't say alkalize or get sick. <laughs> it says alkalize or die. So um, it's definitely very important. And these are some issues that are associated with too much acid in your body. You've got your premature aging, osteoporosis, joint pain, pain, high blood pressure, fatigue, gout, diabetes, of course, free radical damage, and then acid reflux. It says one in 14 Americans have acid reflux, and it says esophageal cancer is now the fastest growing cancer that there is. So the third property is superior hydration. It says oxidation leads to dehydration dehydration leads to inflammation and all disease starts with inflammation so what ways can we fight is this what we're oh i have a right one uh, yeah, two. what ways can we fight inflammation an adjunct supreme supplement is one way it's called ukon and what is it it's actually turmeric Kangen Ukon is grown in its natural habitat in Okinawa, Japan. It's grown in Kangen water. It's cleaned in the Kangen 11.5, which you'll learn about shortly. And it's sanitized in the 2.5. So it says turmeric turns the entire drug-based drug medical model on its head. Instead of causing more side effects than therapeutic ones, it has several hundred potential side benefits. Um, if you see here, it says science confirms turmeric more powerful and effective than 14 drugs. You've got your steroid medications, your cholesterol medications, antidepressants, blood thinners, diabetes uh, drugs. You have your ibuprofen, your anti-inflammatory drugs, and also some chemotherapy drugs. And this is confirmed through science. This is not an enagic thing. So another way that we can fight the inflammation is with our amazing water technology. So we have a well-known brain doctor in our company and she uses this water in uh, working with her patients that have brain traumas, um, children with ADHD, 
Um, she stated that 1% um, dehydration of the brain will cause 5% cognitive malfunction. And if you see here in this picture, it shows a normal brain where the tissue is all enlarged and then in the dehydrated brain, see how the tissue is actually shrunk. And you think about it, people with Alzheimer's and dementia and you know, brain issues, it could very well be that their brain is just overly dehydrated. So we have faster absorption and better hydration. Electrolyzed reduced water absorbs faster than other waters because it contains OH negative, making it naturally alkaline. We call it purple water. The pyloric valve is pH sensitive. So when you drink electrolyzed reduced water on an empty stomach, the valve opens, allowing the water to quickly pass into the small intestines. So if you see down here the, at the bottom of the picture, it shows the pyloric sphincter. And that's what they're talking about is pH sensitive. So if you drink this water first thing in the morning, like you go to your machine and drink it, it's going to open up that valve and your body's going to begin to flush and do what it needs to do. So it says here, your soups, your stews, your broths will be more flavorful and colorful. Your coffee and tea taste better. It says everything tastes better with and works faster with Kangen water. You can even make tea without boiling water. And so we're going to show you that little demo right now. Let me get this tea bag. What is, where'd you, Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. So this, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this green tea bag and we're gonna pretend that the bag itself is your skin and the tea inside is the cells in your body. So if you think about taking expensive supplements, expensive medications, how much is your body actually absorbing with some of these other waters? So we're gonna go here, we're gonna start on this end and I'm gonna to count to about eight, and we're gonna see if we can make tea, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No tea, right? So let's go into the Kangen water now. We go one, two, oh, we only needed two dunks for that. That's pretty awesome. We've got some nice green tea there. So I've had people tell me in the past, oh, it's because the tea bag was wet already. That's why it worked in there. So let's try it with Aquafina. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did we get tea? No. A little residue left over from the Kangen water, but no tea still. So one, two, two again, we got tea. That's pretty awesome. So now we're gonna try one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still no tea. This is one of my favorite demos. One, two, three, you've got tea. That's pretty awesome, right? So let me show you what else is awesome. Did we use all of that one? So it's not that the tea didn't actually get in your cup. And so let me just say one thing before I go that far. So if you see this and it didn't make tea, you've got about 15% absorption that went into that cup, right? As opposed to 85% absorption. So that says that this water is gonna take those supplements and those, new, those medicines, and it's gonna take it into the cells of your body like your body needs. So again, like I started to say, it's not that the tea didn't go into the water, it's that it didn't have a, the right substance to actually pull it out. So what happens when we add Kangen water into these cups? Wow. It makes tea. Now that is awesome. <laughs> All right, pause. So why better absorption? Because tap and bottle water is 24 to 26 molecules in size. So you have limited absorption into your cells where the Kangen water or electrolyzed reduced water, we call it, 
is five to seven molecules. So you have super absorption by the cells. So this is a little um, video clip I want you to watch. It's uh, called Changing the pH of the Blood. Let's see the effects of Kangen water on blood. Let us see how this type of water affects human blood. The doctor is drawing blood from a patient's finger. Using a special microscope, we shall be able to see the condition of her body from this drop. These are red blood cells and they've lost their electrical charge. So they're all stuck together in a formation called a rouleau. Here's a huge symplast. Symplasts are associated with heart disease and uh, arthritis and lung disease and many other conditions that could be coming in the future. The doctor asks the patient to drink a small amount of structured water. After 12 minutes, the doctor again draws blood from the patient and studies it. So you can see that the cells then become buoyant, they become slippery, and they have their electrical charge, so they repel each other. That allows them to carry oxygen, and it means that we're changing the pH of the blood back to an aerobic environment rather than an anaerobic environment. I think that's utterly amazing. That, that a water could, that just drinking water could do that. It's pretty awesome, huh? Okay, so now I need a volunteer. John, I'm gonna have you come up and let me, um, let me do a little prick demonstration on you. Hmm? Prick my finger and test <laughs> my blood? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna prick your finger or test your, test. I'm gonna do a little demonstration with you. You right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Okay. So I want you to face this way and put your feet together touching. And you're going to cup your hand like this and I'm going to put my fist in it. And so I'm going to try to push down on you and I want you to resist me, okay? Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Feel how your body fell over? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to take some of this Kangen water. And I'm just going to put a little bit, I could put it on the back of your hand. Okay, now you're going to do again, feet touching, and let's see what happens this time. You ready? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So now let's go get this Ozarka water. Yeah. Let's put a little bit of that on you. And so now let's try it one more time and see what happens. Ready? Ready. <laughs> so that's telling you how fast that's absorbing into your body and how strong that electrical charge is actually making. Mm -hmm. So you could really tell a difference in that, couldn't that's you? Huge difference. Huge yeah. difference, yes. So I love that. We'll stick with one volunteer for tonight. Okay, so this is how much water should you drink a day? What are the hydration guidelines? If you have regular health, consider yourself healthy. They say to drink 50% of your body weight in ounces. If you have acute health issues, drink 75% of your body weight in ounces. And if you have chronic health issues, you want to drink 100% of your body weight in ounces. And that says unless your phys physician has specifically reduced your daily water intake. Say if you had um, like a heart condition that you had to um, not drink so much water. Okay, so this is the hard facts about bottled water. You have very little testing and regulation by the FDA. It only has to be as clean as tap water. Um, it takes six months to two years before they ever get it to us. Most are acidic and highly oxidizing, and you're not supposed to keep bottled water in your car. Do you know why? 
Does anybody here know why you're not supposed to keep water in your car or plastic in your car? Because of the heat? It heats up and it actually leaches the chemicals into your water. And it says here there's 19 known cancer-causing chemicals that go into making plastic bottles. That's, and that, those chemicals leach into the drinking water when it heats up. So let's see, let's watch this little bitty clip. A liquid entering a bottle during the bottling process has been heated to 185 degrees Fahrenheit for pasteurization. So did you hear that? 185 degrees, they heat it up before they stick the water in it. So they're already leaching the chemicals into the bottles of water right when they put it in there. So then it sits in a warehouse in storage until they ship it, and then it sits in another warehouse until they put it out on the shelves. And so you've got those chemicals leaching into that water the whole time. So here they took a study, uh, or there was a study where they took 10 newborn infants and they measured the umbilical cord blood for toxins. It said that there was 287 toxic chemicals and 208 of those were carcinogenic. That's pretty crazy that, you know, your babies are now being born toxic. And um, I don't know if you remember when I was talking about the PFASs and I said, remember that when it said about the Teflon um, cookware? This test, was they took 20 babies and they tested the umbilical cord blood and all 20 babies were found to be pre-polluted with multiple Teflon chemicals. So it's, they're finding this in the cord blood of newborn babies now. You know, we're supposed to be born alkaline and diacidic, but now babies are even being born toxic. So that's pretty scary. So what is the impact on your health, your wallet, and the environment? If you notice here, we've got a vortex of water. It's in the Pacific Ocean. It's twice the size the state of Texas. This is one of five. Um, and it says here that over two thirds of our fish are now being tested positive for plastic particles. Um, there's 35 billion water bottles produced in the US yearly. And it says that 10% of those end up in our oceans and only 20% or less than 20% get recycled. And when I first saw this picture, I thought it was a landfill. You know, I thought it was where they take and dump garbage and stuff. And then I saw the guy in the boat and learned that it was actually a body of water. That's pretty scary. So it says you're either part of the solution or you're part of the problem. And this is also a documentary that you can watch um, on YouTube. It's called Tapped the Movie. Um, and it's pretty eye-opening also. So how long does it take to break down? It takes plastic bottles 450 years to break down. Plastic bags 20 years. What is it doing to our marine life? Look at that poor turtle with that plastic bag in its mouth. So it's gonna, he's gonna eat that plastic bag and it's gonna take 20 years before it will ever decompose. So what is that doing to his digestive system? And what's it doing to all of our marine life? So I say it's time to do our part and get rid of the plastic. So pets love Kangen water too. Um, it's going to keep them healthier, more vibrant, more energetic, happier with less pain, um, hydrated and living longer. Um, animals that drink Kangen water are going to be less involved with degenerative diseases. Um, they're going to be more comfortable. They prefer it over regular water. And um, I'd say try the Kangen water test with your pet um, and guess which one your pet will choose. It's really cool to see when you put the two waters down, what water the pet goes to. And I like to show this next slide. This was a distributor I sold a machine to. And when she turns the machine on, the machine talks to you and it'll say Kangen 9.5. When her cat hears that, he runs and jumps on the machine and he wants fresh water out of that machine. 
I love that picture. So it's also the athlete's choice. Um, it's good for, uh, I mean, you have runners that have machines. You see Tom Brady in the top. You've got boxers and, and baseball players and all kind of athletes that have these devices and drinking this water. And if you see here, um, right under the Kangen water, it says 3% dehydration of a muscle causes 10% decrease in contractile strength and 8% loss of speed. So think if you're a marathon runner, what this water can do for your body. Any athlete, as a matter of fact, you know, football players that have to run fast, baseball players. So this water is really, really um, good for athletes. So we have um, five different um, types of water. Um, and you're gonna see um, right here, we show the Kangen water. This is your drinking levels. You've got pH of 8.5 to 9.5. You've got clean water, um, which is 7.0. And you would wanna use the clean water if, um, if you were taking um, time release medication because you don't want the um, hydrogen water to release the medication into your system all at once. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set up for the next one real quick. I am gonna take this 11.5 um, water. This is the, and I'm gonna pour it onto this produce. Let's see what we got the grapes over here. And then take the Ozarka. Is that the right one? Is there enough in there? Mm -hmm. Oh, there. I'm gonna let that sit for just a minute while I continue here. <sighs> So it says here, you can use the waters for drinking, food preparation, coffee and tea, as you saw before, soups and stews. Um, and then the next water that we're gonna talk about is your beauty water. It has a pH of 4.5 to 6.0. It's the same pH as your skin. Um, it's slightly acidic. Um, actually, I have some beauty water with me and I'm gonna just spray a little bit of that on your hand. There you go. And it's really nice. I like to carry this around with me and spray it on my skin. So refreshing, especially on the beach. I like to take this and put it in my beach bag. So, so let's see a little bit about the beauty water. It's good for beautiful skin and hair. Some people actually use it as a, a rinse. Um, after they've shampooed their hair. Um, it's great for watering plants. Your plants love it and they grow amazing. I really wanna put, I have a friend that has these um, beautiful ferns on her porch and she feeds it the beauty water and they're amazing, these ferns of hers. Um, it replaces your Windex, your glass cleaner. Um, I use it for glass, mirrors, stainless appliances. Um, and have replaced all the chemicals in my home. You can actually use it for cleaning your floors without using soap. So the next one we're gonna talk about is the 11.5. That's what I just poured into these um, containers here to, on the tomatoes and the grapes. Um, but it's a, gen, a, a cleaner and degreaser. It actually cleans and shines your granite and marble countertops. Uh, it's a stainless steel cleaner. You can use it to clean your laundry without using laundry detergent. It will actually clean and soften your laundry uh, without detergent or softeners. It removes stains. It's a great grout cleaner. Um, and the most important thing is that it removes pesticides from our produce. It says it out cleans Fantastic 409 and Mr. Clean. So here's a picture, it's showing them spraying this on our produce. Um, it's over here, you see the guy all masked up. It says if it's not safe for him to breathe, how is it safe 
how can it be safe for us to eat? And um, um, the second most commonly used herbicide in the U.S. is called atrazine. Roundup, of course, is number one, but atrazine has been proven to be an endocrine disruptor chemical. Um, it causes all kinds of health issues like immune system failures, birth defects, breast and prostate cancers, uh, and infertility problems. And think of it nowadays, there's so much infertility, people trying all kinds of tests and spending all kinds of money trying to get pregnant. And um, it could be that some of these chemicals are actually causing the problem. So we're gonna do another little test here. Now this is sesame oil, and I'm using this in place of your oil-based pesticides because they put oil-based pesticides on the produce so that the rainwater won't wash it off as fast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this sesame oil and what happens when you um, mix oil and water? Separates. It doesn't mix, right? Just separates. So see the oil is just floating to the top. So when you take our 11.5 water, I'm gonna show you what happens with that. Ooh, this is full. So it completely emulsified that oil. So that's pretty crazy. So that's what happens in your laundry too. It emulsifies the oil that's in your clothes and it just breaks it down and flushes it completely out of the wash. So I'm gonna come around to the front here, April, and I am going to, oh, where's my other two cups? Oh, I got two more. Okay, so this is the the tomatoes that were soaked in the 11.5 water. And I'm just gonna wash this a little bit, and then we're gonna pour that into there. Look at that. That is pesticides, guys. So then we're gonna take another one, and this is was just in the plain water. So we're gonna wash that a little bit. And we're gonna see what happens here. It got the dirt and the bird poop off, but it didn't take any pesticides off. So then we're gonna do it with the grapes. So we've got So that was the Kangen water, and this is the regular water. You're not gonna see as much difference in, in coloration with the, you can see some, but you're not gonna see quite as much with the grapes, but you can definitely tell the difference in the taste. So we're gonna let John taste one of these good grapes. And now we're going to take the one that was washed in just regular water and tell me if you can taste a difference. Or if you... You can taste the difference, but that would just taste so much cleaner. Cleaner, it's like, right. It's squeaky clean. Yes. <laughs> so now I'm going to have you do one more. <laughs> I love this one because you don't eat tomatoes. Okay, so we're not going to. Cherie. Cherie, we're going to have you taste. This is a good one. That tastes good. <laughs> so now let's see if you can tell a difference in this one. Do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? It's like. Do I want to put that in? Oh, <laughs> it's really good. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> She's going to go spit it out. If you want to spit it out. <laughs> yeah, um, you can really tell the difference with I've the tomatoes. One of those tomatoes in <laughs> years. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oof. So yeah, that's uh that's wow. pretty crazy. So what what we're going to do is we're going to take um wow. We're going to take some of this water and we're going to go ahead and wash these too so that nobody else has to has to go through that <laughs> thank you Sheree you're welcome I really haven't done that in years <laughs> okay so the next water is the 2.5 strong acidic water it's independently lab tested to kill a hundred plus organisms it's faster and more effective than bleach yet it's non-toxic and while you look at that I'm just going to show you something um, and I'm not going to make you smell this but it actually has a smell of chlorine mm -hmm. um, yes but let me get a cup here I'm going to show you that this hypochlorous acid is non-toxic that is a funny face and it does not affect you in fact if you get food poisoning this water will actually go into your stomach and kill the bacteria in your stomach and stop the food poisoning mm. um, so you can see here you can actually use it um, in place of Lysol you can use it as a mouthwash and a gargle um, in your water pack, um, you can spray your counters and bathroom and disinfect just like you would with anything else. Um, when COVID came along, everybody was, was buying out all the stores with the hand sanitizers and we could make all we wanted with our device. So it, it was neat because we were able to share that water with people when they couldn't find hand sanitizer. Um, and then of course you can see skin issues, um, first aid on cuts and burns, pink eye, pink eye, MRSA, food poisoning. So there's a lot of different uses for the, um, for this water. Pause. Okay, so how does this work? It's an electrolysis process that has 230 watts of continuous charge and actually splits the water from acid to alkaline and oxidant to antioxidant. And this is a cross section of our ionizer and you can see um, it goes from the tap water in through a, a filter that removes sediment, rust, lead, chlorine, bacteria, and odors. And then it goes up the, the plates. There's seven or eight depending on the device, titanium and platinum uh, coated plates. And then it goes up through the plates and then out of the top spigot, get, you come get your alkaline water and the bottom um, is your acidic water. And you can use every drop of water that comes out of this device. So we say there's no competition. Um, you can see that over here we have large solid medical grade plates. Um, they ha have um, the knockoff machines use sprayed on mesh screens. Uh, we have a continuous power supply um, they use cheap, inconsistent power supplies. Um, we have, we use electricity only to create our water. And m most every other ionizer that we've tested uses inorganic minerals in their filters. We have a five-year warranty that's the best in the industry. And they, a lot of them say they have a lifetime warranty, but don't be fooled. Um, that's really a red flag because there's no such thing as a lifetime warranty and we've actually had people that have been tricked into that and when they called to have their machine fixed when it failed um, they said they no longer made that device so it is um, you know they do say a lot of things um, to trick you so we say don't be fooled so again no competition you see these are some of your um, knockoff devices 
And if you were to research, you're going to see that they all point to this one in the middle, which is the Enagic device. They don't compare themselves with each other. They all compare themselves with Enagic. So what does that say to me? It says that Enagic is the best. So these are some of our ionizers or our four uh, ionizers. You have the K8 that has eight platinum dipped titanium plates. Um, it has an LCD touch screen, kind of like your iPhone or um, Android. Um, and it has an automatic cleaning. It has a five year warranty. And your SD501 and your SD501 Platinum are the same machine. They both have seven uh, platinum dip titanium plates. They have a five year warranty also. And the only difference is that one will match stainless appliances if you choose to match your appliances. And then we have the Levelec Junior, which uh, most people use that as a, a travel device. Um, it has four plates and it has a three year warranty. So how can you get your money back? Well, one way is tax write-offs. You can take a full deduction and get your gross income, or you can break it up over a, a three year period. You have additional business write-offs. If you get your machine and you share water with someone, that's actually doing business. So you can write off part of your mortgage or rent, your phone bill, your car payment, gas, and, and it says tolls, which we don't have tolls here, but um, airfare and hotels. If you go on vacation and you talk about this machine to people, you can write off that vacation too. So I've uh, enjoyed those benefits of having this machine. So another way to get your money back is our customer referral program. We say everyone knows at least three people that can benefit from drinking Canyon water. Everyone knows at least three people who will benefit from taking the Ucon supplement. And then everyone wants to bathe in a mineral spa. So it ta only takes about nine customers to actually recoup your investment in your machine. So Google, anybody can post anything on Google. Um, companies will actually pay for um, ads to say anything they want them to say. So we say, if you're gonna do your research, go to Google Scholar. So you've got googlescholar.com or you've got pub, pubmed.gov. And that's where actually doctors and scientists will post peer reviewed articles. Um, so you could um, say, get your phone out, but you can go into those right now and type in ERW and diabetes. And it's gonna pull up articles where electrolyzed reduced water has um, helped or it's going to show the documents that um, or you can use arthritis or any anything that you want to search you put in ERW and it'll bring up that information so but you can also go to Google and you can put in shark cars and what are you going to see you're going to see a whole bunch of shark horses and we know that there's no such thing as a shark horse. So we say don't go to Google. So stop throwing your money away on bottled water. Um, for a family of four, it's about $54,750, um, which is very expensive for bottled water over a 15 year span. A single person, it's about $16,000 over a 15 year span. and with an Enagic device, it's only $39.80, which is about 73 cents a day. So, and that's uh, very eco-friendly because you're not putting bottled water or bottles into the environment and um, you're actually keeping your family healthy. So, you're gonna drink, you're gonna cook with, and you're gonna use water for the rest of your life. You're gonna clean your food, clean your house, and do, what, do your laundry for the rest of your life. And those expenses are forever. So imagine if simply changing the water you drink, changing the supplement you take, changing the way you bathe and shower could change your physical life and the financial life of your family and friends and give you that true peace of mind. 
Don't you think it's time to say yes and make a decision to do something about it? So I say, ask me, how can you get your machine for free? And ask me about our incredible business opportunity. But I say, ask yourself, are you increasing your income to match your dreams? Or are you shrinking your dreams to match your income? So I say, dream big. So we're a global business opportunity. We have a patented compensation plan and we have a universal product that everyone needs, which is water. So thank you for allowing me to share my story of hope and help with you.